there, dipshits. It's me, Joey, a.k.a. Slooty Mage. I'm Hunter, voice of Hunter Taylor. And I'm Carter, Eagle Eagle. We're Older and Dumber. Every Friday, we drop wisdom, humor, and a whole lot of nonsense. You won't want to miss it. Become a patron today for as low as $5 a month. Get early access to all our episodes and exclusive behind-the-scenes looks at all the things we're doing and May's super-secret editing notes. Shout out to our awesome dipshits. Your support really helps keep this madness going. Join the crew. Be a dipshit. It's an exclusive club and you're invited. Throw dipshits working kit on here every Friday for a dose of older and dumber craziness. See you there. Fade to black. On my stand. Fade to black. <laughs> Recording officially now. Now we're supposed to be riffing right now. Oh. We're, supposed, we're supposed to be talking to each other. This is a cold open. If you're drinking strawberry milk, it means you're not drinking alcohol. You can't mix alcohol and strawberry milk. I certainly can. If anything, if Epcot has taught us anything, then I certainly can take a swig of this uh, Captain okay. Morgan spiced rum. So you take a swig of that. I save this just for our little podcast here. Should I just down it? <laughs> oh, God. What if I fell oh, up? That was more than a shot. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't right. open my throat. Eh. Welcome to the Older and Dumber podcast. This is Carter, and I am joined today by my co-host, May. It's our uh, podcast Call of Duty, now. Uh, yeah, our podcast now. Uh, Call of Duty streamer, 360 GoPro sniper off the top of Rust, Dome um uh, may how was your week well are you gonna introduce yourself yeah i messed up the format we can do it again you all fucked right, it all it up you fucked it yeah, all up do excited. you even I podcast was too, i was too excited welcome to the older and dumber podcast i don't remember welcome to the older and dumber podcast a podcast about two dumb friends just trying to live it on this planet we call earth come on come on may are you going with live it just trying to live it. Welcome to the Older Number Podcast, a podcast about two dumb friends just trying to make it on this planet we call Earth. To my left today, joining me, we have Call of Duty streamer extraordinaire, raiser of many dino eggs, Melia, our great editor. How are you doing? It's me, your girl. I'm good. And to my left, we have... Yeah. Open shirt having, girlfriend moving in having, strawberry milk drinking, beanie Shoot. cap wearing, Carter Ruddle. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing great. Now, mate, you may realize that the podcast is a little different this week. Better, even. I, I would say an improvement. I would like, agree. You know, I'm just saying, like, there's two of us, you know, it's just like, I don't know, more clean cut. Um, so the rest of the boys are on a trip to Florida right now, uh, going to Megacon. And uh, so I was like, okay, well, we shouldn't just skip the podcast. I can do it with May. Either she can come in town, which she was probably not going to do. Nope. Uh, or we could do it on Discord. And so we're doing it on Discord this week, so that's why everything looks a little different. We're not in the studio, this but is we're still going to have a great time. We got some fun things to talk about, and it should be a good episode. So uh, as we usually do for the podcast, uh, May, how was your week? My week was fine. I was sick for a full month. I had a sinus infection, and then I nice. went immediately into COVID, so I was out of work for a full month. Um, nice. I went back to work this week. It was nice. It was easy. I did not fly any planes. I was digitizing slides, 35 millimeter slides uh, from the 50s, and there's a box of 100 that were just naked women from France. So wow. Was, that was a happy, happy little surprise. What a good day at work. What a good day. Um, but other than that, I've pretty much just been playing Ark and Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate? I thought you hated that game. I'm going to be honest. I fucking really did. I really hated Baldur's Gate until I started playing it a little bit on my own. When I first downloaded it, played it for five minutes before turning it off and vowing to never play it again on my own. When I played it with you guys, I could only handle it while I was drunk. And now I'm finally learning about the characters, which is nice. But I hear all on my own, I did research and I read that I could get a mod 
where all of the party members could be in our party. There could be like 16 of them. Like I said in the Discord, if you had read the Discord, I did the read the no Discord. Okay, if we get the no maximum party, then we can have the NPCs on our party still. Huh. You can have up to like, uh, I think it was 16 party members. That's far too many. And, and I but have to wait for have... 16 turns. But if we get like two more, then we get to have NPCs that will influence the story more. Hmm. Oh, that's that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. You heard about that all on your own. You don't really do, you know, usually pay attention to online things. Yeah, I read it. Wow, wild. Yeah. We didn't we didn't play Starfinder this week, did we? No, we didn't cuz they were yeah. haphazardly driving to Florida in one go. Yep. That's yep. crazy. I See, bet Joey drove the entire way even though they said they were going to do shifts. 90 miles an hour. Yeah. Yeah. They might have died at least 6 times probably. Yeah. Well, they've been gone. I, I've been doing a bunch <laughs> of stuff and being like we should do this and this and then I've been waiting for them to respond. Oh, it's like that SpongeBob meme where it's like, wait for you to come home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. I miss my boys. Wow. Yeah. I have to take care of this dog. Imagine. Oh, yeah, Michael. Imagine if your girlfriend didn't move in. It was just you alone in the house. Sad boy. Damn. See, it could have been worse. But, but she did move in. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Now you get must, strawberry you know, milk at your whim. It's true. <laughs> Go ahead and ask me about my week, May. How was your week, Carter? Whoa, that was supernatural, and I appreciate it. You're welcome. Um, my week was pretty up and down. It was good when I was home. Work sucked. I dislike it. Um, I'm probably going to get a new job here soon. You've been saying hopefully. that for a long time. Yeah, so I started working at Seren or Serendipity. They get more than one. Uh, Hunter works there. And I uh, wanted wants to get a full job there, full-time job there. And it just, um, they don't have enough business to do another full-time job until spring, probably. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been working there as sort of like a learning more of the business and also working there as like... Uh, working events at their catering business so working as a waiter working as back of house stuff whatever basically they need and that's been fine and it pays pretty well but i just don't really want to do my my day job i really don't want to work there anymore because of things that happen that i don't really want to talk about on the podcast but um it's just like boring and it doesn't really tickle my adhd anymore i know everything so i just sit on my phone until there's something to do and so I'm just looking for something else at this point. Um, and if I find another full-time job before Serendipity hires me, then it is what it is. Yep. But uh, at home was great. Me and Hannah watched a bunch of One Piece, you know, because it's my third watch time through. I I'm saw that. The, the third time. It's uh, It's been good. Uh, I, you know, I'm on the edge of my seat meeting new characters and like... <laughs> waiting for interactions to happen that I know are going to happen and just like seeing her reaction, whether or not she reacts or not. So that's been interesting and fun uh, so far. Uh, she says she likes it. So, you know, we're, we're doing good. When um, I was a teenager, I used to watch movies over and over and over again, and I would be able to quote every single line. Is that you with one piece? There's a, thousand and a hundred and sixty four episodes i believe like in that you. now so no but um most of the intro songs and exit songs i can sing pretty well that's normal for you though i expect yeah. that you can listen to a song and immediately start singing it like it's nothing it's that like producer dad type shit oh yeah that, yeah. yeah that makes sense um but other than that we sort of me and my partner have been sort of getting acclimated to the shared living space and that's been fun sort of fitting all of our stuff into the space we have i have questions what, what are your questions well i've never lived with a partner yeah because never mind because because <laughs> what never mind because what never mind <laughs> never mind <laughs> i'm listening and, uh, i won't say anything uh i was gonna say because of homophobic parents nothing oh else. that's true yeah that's true yeah. i they're never gonna listen to this but um you've been living i wouldn't say uh, not alone but like it's your own space for a really yeah. long time how are you acclimating to someone else in your space i mean she has her own room right what 
Does she have her own room, or you guys have? What do you mean? I don't know. What are we in the the fifties? Yeah, that we have no we shared have living own, spaces. We have, we have our room, and then we have the office. The office. Yeah. Okay, so you have a woman in your space. Yeah. How? How do? How is it? I I love women in my space, so this is great. <laughs> it's the milk. It's the milk. Uh, yeah. No, it's been good. Uh, there's been some like sort of just like figuring out what we get to keep and what is not necessary because we have the furniture that we have, and we are both like have been living on our own for a while, so we both have like a lot of stuff. Her stuff is probably nicer. You should probably just get rid of all of yours. Oh well, I got a real bed. So that's one Whoa. thing. Whoa! Uh, yeah, it has a box spring and everything. It Holy has a, like, a shit! Frame. Uh, upgraded nightstand, so that's been good. Uh, but like, I had stuff. Like, we have my dressers right now, but we're looking for a new one, so it's better better for like shared. You like, share a dresser? Are, my dressers are nice, but like for space wise, it doesn't make sense for us to have my dressers instead of just like getting yeah. like one big one. Yeah. And just sort of having sides to it. So we're looking for something like that. But um, other than that, like, uh, she got rid of her desk because we have a desk or sort of built into the office here. Mm -hmm. And then we have my desk. And so it, it just didn't make sense space wise. So that worked out. Um, and yeah, just sort of figuring out where to put everything we're still doing that and the apartment here hasn't super been optimized for space like mm -hmm. sort of where things go already because when hunter moved in it was sort of like short notice and we just sort of yeah put everything in the house and like didn't really organize anything just sort of put it in closets and made sure that there was space for people to live here um so now that i don't know hey honey baby honey what are you fucking from the 70s? Hey, honey. It's been going well. I mean, of course, like, I don't know if we didn't, like, rush into it, but we've been moving a little fast, but that's been good. How's house atmosphere? Everyone gets along? Yeah, everybody gets, a, every, you, everybody gets along. You took yeah, a no, second. No, everybody gets along. Everybody gets along. That's not the issue. Uh -huh. like, there was not... Like, there's definitely, like, because we've been living together and because we're all friends, like, me, Hunter, and, and Michaela ha are all friends and we're, we're pretty close, I I sort of, like, don't communicate. Like, I, I haven't been, like, communicating for, like, the last year on, like, when things should get done or, like, where we should be, be more, like, like, have that roommate relationship yeah. because we've always been just friends and they moved in. Um, So now that she's moved in, she's like, we're, like, we should probably like communicate some more things on like taking the motherfucking reins <laughs> she's Listen, gonna turn the, this the, house uh, into a home <laughs> she's gonna take all the reins she wants right <laughs> um <laughs> but uh yeah that's been good um and everybody likes each other so it's been good good yeah awesome other than that what else did i do this week i didn't play dnd &D on monday i didn't play starfinder on tuesday Played a lot of magic this week. That's been fun. It's been the most magic I've played in probably like five months. So I've been enjoying that. And I'm putting together a little organization party at my house to sort of get my collection organized so I can sell what I want to sell and keep what I want to keep. I already got rid of all of like my stuff, my bulk, which is like in layman's terms, it's just like stuff that is not worth anything mm -hmm. but still keeps up space and you can get money f like it's not worth anything like worth keeping but like you can still sell it for some amount of money so i did that and now it's just all of the non-bulk that i have to go through and figure out like what i have like five copies of this 40 dollar card why do i need five copies of this 40 dollar card let's go down to one or two copies blah blah, blah. so i'm putting together some kind of party for that we're People are going to come over and we're going to get drinks and we're going to get some food and we're going to do that. So that should be fun. Mm -hmm. um, and other than that, I played a lot of Pal World this week. A lot of lot of Pal World. A lot of fun, that game, Pal World. Mm. Uh, we have a server. It's been great. Mm. I got a, uh, got some pals. Mm. Got some. I got my pals have guns. Mm. It's, been, it's been good. Mm. I think you would like it. Mm. Do you? I do. I do think you would like it. I happen to know one of your pals who 
pays for an ARC server. So yeah. all of her pals can play on an ARC server yeah. together. It's true. Mm. The thing is, is that game is not optimized and mm. also trash. You should get it refunded then. I did refund it. Good. Yeah. I did Good. do that. I was like, I'm not going to refund it. And then everybody started, like, a bunch of my other friend group started playing Pal World. And I was like, oh, I already, like, looked at this game and thought it was fun. So I, I'm i probably going to buy that and play that, which has a similar survival aspect to Ark. Yeah. And I think I would enjoy it more. So I refunded Ark because I just was like, I play with Maze sometimes while writing on Call of Duty. And yeah. I enjoy that sort of gameplay with her more, unless she played a different survival game um but uh yeah it's been a lot of fun i like the movement and i like the i like that it feels like i can do a lot more it feels like there's a lot of different paths you can take in power world so far is like i can just like explore for as long as i want and just not care about like the other parts of the game and still have a good time the slavery parts the slave <laughs> hey it's not slavery you still have to take care of them oh like you still feed them and water them and like give them a good life and like if they don't like their life then they stop working for you oh and okay then you butcher so... them. oh <laughs> no, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> that's cool i probably won't buy it just because i'm already so far in arc and yeah. i don't have the capacity to play two massive survival games but i have yeah. been keeping up with the i wouldn't say it's a legal battle yet but like with all of the people complaining and... yeah yeah i don't think nintendo has any grounds at all no it's... no I don't but think i think so. they'll try just because they can and they have the ability to hire lawyers but i don't think it'll go yeah. very far they might make it so painful for pal world to like go through that then they might shut it down like that's the way i can see them getting victory is just like badgering them with lawyers until yeah. they're like it's not worth it but it was the second it was like the number one most played game on steam for a bit it or was like the number two yeah and it it's very it's so good it fills that nostalgia of like playing pokemon but how you wanted to always play pokemon like it gives me like i know you didn't play minecraft at a lot mm -mm. or at all i don't know but there was this mod called Pixelmon, and it just put Pokemon in Minecraft with like more pix like Minecraft type textures and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I played the shit out of that mod with like friends on a server, and it fills that sort of void, but also with a little bit more polish and like uh, actual its own game, yeah, sort of thing. I don't think um, they would shut it down. I think that if they really made them do something, they would just redesign some characters. Because it is its own separate game. There are no... I mean, Hunter said it was yeah. uh, what he wanted Arceus to be. And I could see that. Like, Arceus, I was watching the gameplay. Trash. Bad. Trash. Bad. I have it right here. <laughs> Bad. It's trash. I played it for five minutes, and I was like, I don't want to play this anymore. Yeah. And I didn't, never refunded it. So, I just have it And now. now you can never, because they don't do GPGs anymore damn so damn thanks mr gamestop yeah i you know i've been working a lot and organizing i've looked through so many magic cards this week i don't know if you can see all of these piles you oh can't see yeah i can okay. see these are sort of organized and then this is sort of like i've condensed my magic to one shelf but it's sort of overflowing right now but anyways yeah so are you going to buy the alcohol for the people who you're making come over and organize yeah. your cards? Yeah, of course. Okay. Of course. I'll buy All alcohol right. and some, like, pizza or something. Okay, let me know and the just... dates. You don't know how to organize I'm going to put them all in the garbage, and then I'm going to drink all your alcohol. May, that's like multiple thousands of dollars. More for you, probably. I think, yeah, an estimate probably is probably around 20 It's worth or you spent? Worth. Okay, so probably you probably like 20, spent more. Probably more like 20 to 30. How much do you think you've spent? Uh, On a scale of like I zero. Like I've, I don't know. I feel personally that I've spent around six to seven thousand dollars. I don't know. That seems low. Usually with cards, you have to buy an excessive amount. To well, here's the get thing. The I'm very good at Magic the Gathering. Oh. Richard Garfield's Magic the Gathering. Oh. And I used to play weekly events every week and without paying money for the entry fee because I had 
like store credit to re-enter and just win every single Friday and get cards and trade cards and sell cards and get other cards with that with that like store credit and everything. So I've been very lucky and I've been very rewarded for playing well. I think on like the highest end, probably 10, but I, I don't think I've spent 10. Have you spent less than Hunter has spent in League skins? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> I don't want to think about how much money he's spent on leaks. Many. I asked him. Hey, guys. Hunter here, and I... Hey, son. What you doing? John? Uh, nothing. Just recording an ad for the podcast. Oh, that's cool. Can I try? Uh, sure. If you support Older and Dumber on Patreon, you'll get week early access to all their episodes, along with exclusive content and more. So go support my son and his friends Carter and Joey, and become a dipshit today. Uh, yeah. So anyways, I think we have a topic. Um, I have a or few... Sort of, a, sort of talking notes that we can spiral off of. I have a few ramblings in my brain. Um, the first rambling I wanted to talk about was the Avatar live action that's coming out. Mm, yeah, the one that... Isn't it coming out? Like, is it coming out this year? It's coming out soon, isn't it's... it? Like, in the next month or so? I think so. I don't remember. Are you excited it... for this? Uh, I was... So when it first got announced, I was very excited because the original creators were behind it and the original mm -hmm. creators were working on it. And then my heart sank a little bit when I think it was last year sometime, they notified it that they're no longer working on the project. So then I got a little concerned. Um, I saw the trailer and I was, I, I mean, I thought the trailer looked good. Yeah. I thought the trailer looked great, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh, so I... I'm going to give it a shot, and I hope that they can pull off another anime live-action adaptation correctly again, because One Piece was great. Well, you're uh -oh. more willing to watch things and give them a shot than I am. Yeah. I was super, super excited when I heard this was coming out because the original creators, and then I read that they had left the project due to creative differences. Creative differences. Which, which is, like, is the first sign. Whoa. This is the whoa. first sign. And I'm not, I'm not going to shit on it. It hasn't come out yet. I'm ready to see it. But then again, there's like this sense of, do we need this to be recreated in live action? Because yeah. the original was so fucking good. That and I don't... easy for people to watch. Yeah. Like that was another thing is like, I really liked the One Piece adaptation because I thought it made it easier for people who've never watched One Piece to get mm -hmm. into One Piece and maybe watch the anime someday which or just read it or watch it or whatever they wanted to do after that which is why i liked the one piece adaptation with this i feel like the avatar the last airbender cart like it was a cartoon maybe anime like it, people have been arguing over this like over like years of like is it an anime is it a cartoon it's sort of like a mix of both it's western anime um and it's just like super easy to watch for regular people to watch that i don't know if we actually need this live action but if they do something that changes the story but keeps the like keeps the characters and how they're written and how they would react to certain situations but changes the story enough to subvert some expectations i think it will be good but if they completely butcher it where the characters don't feel like the characters but they change the story and change the narrative a little bit then that's then i'm not they made it. Sokka not sexist anymore yeah which is kind of mad for me honestly really that was sort of that's that his, his whole fucking character. Oh no, that's what I mean. Oh, okay. That's what I mean. As I was like, like his character develops because like yeah. he he does these things and he gets instantly sort of like like he learns about it instantly. Like when the Kyoshi yeah. Warriors, like when he's like, I am the best son, and then he gets his ass beat and he's like immediately like, I actually was wrong, and could you teach me how to fight? So or it's, like Yeah. yeah. They didn't even find the. They wouldn't have even found the avatar if he wasn't being a little fucking bitch boy. Yeah. In episode one, so it'll be interesting to see what they do with that. I also don't love their casting for Sokka. He's a little weirdy, but I, I'm excited. I'll watch the first episode and see where it goes. But that's like, I'm not totally happy with the fact that we're remaking everything like this is an age yeah. of just remaking fucking everything there's little to no originality being coming out at all it's... i think you should watch the one piece live action interesting 
I think you should. My boss actually watched it. And he was like, that dope, that shit was dope as fuck. He said it was pretty fun. Yeah. And he's a miserable fucking old man, so if the it's power, fun... Uh, the power of One Piece. Yeah. I it hear... cures all. I did hear it was good. And they're also, uh, speaking of remaking things, they are reanimating One Piece. They are making the pacing better, and they are making it more accessible for people to watch on Netflix. Hmm. Which... Uh, should ch turn like from like a like a like a if they do it at the proper pacing like should make it like a 500 episode anime instead of a thousand episode anime or that's still like so that. many that's not that many that's such a feat that they are like it, they're like 20 minute episodes compared to like what Grey's Anatomy or yeah. like Criminal, Criminal Minds, Minds or yeah, like you got yeah me. It's just fuck <laughs> off all right like seriously that is such a fucking excuse <laughs> that doesn't mean anything yeah yeah but when when it's all laid out in front of you and it says 1000 you're like oh shit but I did I just uh, do restarted. I need to put a little season marker in yeah. there <laughs> yeah yeah <All right. laughs> I, pr I might get around to it, but I've been rewatching all of my own stuff because, like you said, like, I, my love language is watching. It doesn't have to be my partner. It doesn't have to, like, I love watching someone, someone my, like, stuff that yeah. I really like and then making sure that they react appropriately, which my yeah. girlfriend is so fucking terrible at. She just sits there and watches everything stone face, and I'm like, did you see that? Did you hear that? Did do you know what just happened? Aren't you excited? And see, so, like, oh. see, my partner doesn't cry during during the, movies or media or anything, and I am very <laughs> an emotional human being. Yeah, me too. And so, like, I'm like rewatching One Piece for the third time, and like at moments where I cry every time, and I'm sitting there like tears in my eyes. I'm like, what do you think? And she's like, just it was like, good. it was really it hit me right in the feels, and I'm like, good, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, uh, <laughs> All right. I'm just going to go cry. <laughs> yeah. So I try, I can't watch things that are super, and we have such different interests that a lot of the things that I really like, she doesn't like She's at all. She's like into like uh, Russian mobster movies. Yeah. No, those are called uh, peef pof in Russian. It's more oh, like. Oh, really? Psh, psh, okay. Yeah. 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 yeah she, she really liked the machine with Bert, uh, whatever his name is. Uh, yeah. The comedian. Oh, yeah, I've been showing Erm a lot of things that I enjoy in media because she reacts a little bit better, but also mm -hmm. she doesn't react to the end. So I'm still sitting there like this, and I'm like, hey, did you see that? And she's like, wow, that was a really good episode. Then, And then I'm also the kind of person who will watch the entire piece of media through, and then if I see some really cool editing or some cool things, I will make everyone watch, go back, pause, freeze frame it. I'll be so it's probably really point, <laughs> fucking annoying to watch anything with me, right. but yeah. The other person when they when you watch Lord of the Rings, you have to mention every time that Viggo Mortensen actually yeah. broke his toe in the yeah, scene. kicking the and helmet. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I haven't seen the Lord of the Rings in so long. Me either. I think it's been it's been a while. I think I was a child. Oh, okay. Well, that's too long. Mm, maybe I'll rewatch him. I have a friend. Oh, sorry, we've mentioned him on the podcast. Doctor Rob. Doctor Rob can hear, uh, part of the soundtrack of Lord of the Rings and tell you exactly what scene you're in. That's crazy. Yeah, because that's how much he's seen Lord of the Rings. See, he knows every single word to Lord of the Rings. Yeah. And you know every single word to One Piece. <laughs> exactly. You mm -hmm. got it right on the head. I know. All right. If you have um, a loose thread. I did have a couple loose threads. One is Baldur's Gate related, and one okay. is how we have known each other for three-ish years, you and I, and yeah, I don't know a lot about you. Have you ever thought about this? What do you know about me? I know that you're gay. Oh! Um, you like snowboarding. Okay. Um, you went to school for movie filmmaking? Yeah, sure. What did you go to school for? Film, film photography and visual arts. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yeah come on. Come on. Yeah, uh, you, did good. you were, worked at GameStop for a while. You had a house with four roommates? Th three. Four, three, uh, roommates. three and a half. Nora basically lived with me. Okay, I was counting Nora. Yeah. Uh, and you have been streaming for four years? Five years? 
four, maybe? Four or yeah. three? But, like, and, it's crazy because... And your dad was in the mob. He, he wasn't. For legal reasons, that's a lie. But, like, anyway. I know Hunter and Joey because I worked with them. And then I don't think you and I even hung out until I moved back home. Once. We hung out one time, and that was when we were doing podcast things. Yeah, we did the photo shoot. That was the first time I'd ever met you. I don't know if that's... That might be true. That was the first well, time I I'd feel, ever met you. I feel... And correct me if I'm wrong. You've seen Stranger Things, right? Yeah. I feel like we got a big Robin and Steve yeah. energy whenever we're together, is all I'm saying. I agree. But it's also, so we hung out that one time, and then we went on this big, huge trip, which for me, leaving my house on its own is a big, huge thing. Me leaving yeah. my house with two strangers, because I hadn't known Michaela at all either. Well, okay. To be fair, before this big trip, we played a reasonable amount of video games yeah. together. Yeah. But I knew what you looked like, kind of. And you were nice to me because we had just met. Like, you know, it's like those new friends things. We're like, oh, this yeah. this friend is my friend's friend. So I'm going to be nice to them. Right. And then we went on a trip to Florida and we got hammered. Yeah. And it was uh, friends at, best friends ever since. Yeah. But like, yeah. I don't know a lot about you. I know that you were homeschooled. Do you have some questions? You well, yeah. I know you were homeschooled. I know you almost died to an icicle. Yeah. And I know you have two, two, two sisters and a brother. Two sisters and a brother. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, that's it. And you have a sister, and you have two. You have a niece and a nephew, or you just have a nephew. I have a niece and a, I have two sisters. You have two sisters. I only yeah. thought you wanted one. It's uh crazy. I don't like to think about it because it makes me feel it makes my brain hurt. So my sister, my oldest sister, is a few years younger than my mom. Oh, right. I knew that. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. 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 When okay. my mom yeah. was born, my dad was already married. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's fucking... My nephews are all older than me. Wait, what? My nephews are all older than me. But your niece is young. Is oh well, baby. I my other sister had just had a boy too. But like when okay. I was growing up, all of my nephews were older than me, Got and it. so all we right. would yeah, we yeah. all thought we were cousins. And then, and then we... your mom, what, your dad, <laughs> one day was like, "Listen, my leader, <laughs> these they're, they're your family, but not how you think. They're actually your nephews." And no, were like, Whoa! <laughs> we started doing the math in our own heads, and then we were like, "Wait a minute." And we were on the trampoline. I remember the moment. And then it's crazy. Crazy. Nuts. But yeah. So I have a few questions for you. you. a few questions. Go ahead. I, they're coming right off the top of my noggin. Uh, okay. What is the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you in, like, grade school? In grade school? Yeah. Okay. So I was homeschooled most of my life. But... Yeah. For second and third grade, I was public schooled um, because my mom decided she need my dad and my mom decided that they both needed to work. My mom went to go work as a special needs assistant for the local school district. And we went to that school. Um, and the most embarrassing thing that happened there, because at, at homeschool, nothing really like it was there was not as much embarrassment because I was just with my siblings all day and like I, there wasn't really that many embarrassing moments there but i think most embarrassing thing there and this is probably super shallow to say is like i was friends with everyone like i was the kind of kid that was friends with everyone okay and i was with the cool kids and i was also with the weird kids like the kids that were not popular and did not have friends the weird kids yeah like like you or yeah like, i knew and, that was um, coming uh and i remember as a kid i slowly started falling away from the cool kid like being like being able to be friends with the cool kids because they wouldn't invite me to things anymore. Oh. And I'm embarrassed of this now looking back, but as a kid I stopped hanging out with all of the weird kids because I didn't want <laughs> I didn't I I wanted to I wanted to be accepted by the by the cool kids <laughs> and the kids that would play football at recess 
So I just uh, I stopped going over to one of my friends' house to play N sixty four and just <gasps> the, just you know, uh, you know, hung out at recess with the cool kids. Wow. <laughs> Which is really embarrassing to think about now, because I like I me as a kid was such an asshole, but <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, wow. Yep. So were you all homeschooled? Yeah, we were all we were all uh, home birthed. My mom gave birth to us all. At That's home. a tough bitch. Yeah, no drugs, no oh nothing. Oh my god! With a, with a midwife every time, at home. No issues giving birth, nothing like that. Besides Micah, which had some issues, we almost went to the hospital with him, and we were all home birthed. Uh, yeah, all of it. Yeah, it was crazy. My parents were there almost like almost meta night growing, like growing up, like from the ages of like one to probably eight, they were very very religious, and then uh -huh. after that, they really mellowed out and were like a lot more progressive and like still religious but not like in your face and like almost meta night religious uh -huh. they were more like progressive new newer age religious were you vaccinated uh like vaccinated for what well were your parents anti-vax on like babies no vaccinations for my kid uh, i don't want i don't want I don't baby think I, had, I don't think i got vaccinated as a baby <laughs> Because I was home birth, then you would have had to yeah, go in for that. Yeah, you go for that. But, like, I had my tetanus shots when I went on, like, trips or whatever. And, mm -hmm. like, uh, like when I got to, like, 12, 13, I got, like, my regular, like, uh, flu shots and everything like that. Blah, blah, blah. Home uh, birth. That's... Yeah, Micah, my youngest, br my younger brother, he was wrapped around my mom's umbilical cord me too and like, and like turned upside down oh and almost had to go to the hospital because he wouldn't turn over during during birth um and it was kind of scary and my the midwife had to like shift things around and get him out get get him out of there yeah anyways uh you know fucking pregnancy and like childbirth is the most disgusting thing in the entire yeah. world. Good for yeah. her. She should do a water birth for her next child. I think she did water births with me and my younger sister. You were a water birth baby. You could breathe underwater for a second. That's crazy. Yeah, exactly. You were one step away from being the Fish. main character of Waterworld. Oh, shit. Is that Kevin You're Costner? Right. Um, do you want to hear mine? Your if, most um, embarrassing yeah, thing grade I was yeah, not. Yeah. I I mean, I probably was a fucking asshole like you, but no, I was with the weird kids and proud of it. Bitch. Nice. Um, I had a different girlfriend every week. In, whoa! In school, yeah. He's a little I a, stud. Yeah, I was a little player. Yeah. Whoa! I, I well, I didn't do. I went to a private high school. Does that still count? Private as Private high school. It wasn't private. It was like it was a like charter the mob school. One, like your dad was yeah. like, "Here, let me give you a lot of money. Here, <laughs> you know, name a name a stool after me or something, and get my get my Malia in the top notch." It was supposed to be like a lottery school where they pick your name out of a hat and then you go to this so super special new tech school. Um, but my cousin went there, so they didn't do a fucking lottery. They just let me go. Um, but in ninth grade, my friend was going to audition for the musical and I was just going for moral support and she was afraid to sing the song. So I sang it with her, was not auditioning at all. I had no plans to do this musical. And then when they posted the roles, they had given me the lead role. <clears throat> and so I was like, oh, super fun. Opening night. I literally, because I, I was doing karate, like, I didn't go to any of these rehearsals, I didn't fucking anything. I fucked up every single line, every single music, and then in the middle of the song, I fucked it up, and I was like, oh, blah, blah, rewind, and then yeah. I did the little, and then, like, my whole fucking, we all started over, and to this day, I think about it, and I start fucking sweating nice that was the you most got a good recovery though that yeah. sounds like you did a good recovery um, yeah no it was bad it was all <laughs> no, bad no, no. terrible but that is probably my most embarrassing from i'm sure there's way more and alexa would probably tell you many from younger but i've blocked most of that part of my life out i couldn't even tell you 
Do you have another question? Um, do you have a question? What was the thing that got you into gaming first? Were you always into gaming or did you have like this moment of like, oh, you went over to your friend's house for the first time and played this game? Like, do you remember what sort of got you into it all? Yeah, I was never allowed to play video games. My parents were firm believers of they rot your brain. Um, so I would always well, go to, that's fair. yeah, true. I would always go to Alexa's house and we would play video games there. My first video game I ever played was on my, my home computer, but it was my cousins cause we were living together. It was Halo Combat Evolved. I was really oh, good. Nice. Yeah. Nice. But I was also really young. So the flood scene gave me nightmares and I had to sleep with my parents for a few days. Um, and then I would play like Gears of War at Alexa's house and I fucking, I loved it. And I was so bad at them. And I got my first Xbox in like late middle school. We snuck it into my house and told my parents that it was a DVD player, nice. which is not a lie. It's true. Um, but yeah, ever since then, I've loved video games and I really like the storytelling aspect of a lot of video games. Uh, for a moment there, I wanted to go for like story, go to school for like storytelling and stuff like that. And then I realized I'm not creative enough and I don't like writing at all, mm -hmm. but so I went for film and I enjoy that too, but they share a lot of similar aspects. So I don't play a game to like play the game or for to shoot them up, kill them, slice them in half. I really enjoy narrative games like The Last of Us and things like that. They tell a story. They have really good editing. Like I'm, I'm big slut for really well made games. Nice. Yeah. I think my moment for that was I also a Halo moment. My dad got it on the. Uh, the original xbox mm -hmm. and uh, sort of uh, played with me but i was like a kid so or i was really little because halo came out what early, early 2000s yeah and i was born in 2000 so <laughs> uh uh yeah i was uh but that was my first game that i remember playing is halo mm -hmm. and then i think for my sixth or seventh birthday m my dad gave me the original xbox and i had a little box tv in my room with my original xbox with lego star wars the, the first lego star wars and i had halo and i had i can't remember what else i had oh i had bible trivia uh bible there trivia there was a bible trivia game for the actually original xbox and i had indiana jones and the emperor or something and that was fun i remember that and then I believe two Christmases later, my around then my dad got the Xbox 360. Mm -hmm. And before he got the Xbox 360, he also had the original Xbox, but he had modded it with his friend from college to give him every game from every platform ever. Hell yeah. So he had like Sega games and like uh, Nintendo games and he had the, the full Xbox assortment. And because he, he, he got rid of that and he gave it to me and I had that up until, until I was 10 or 11. And man, I missed that thing. I would sit in our basement and play Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront 2 or uh, Star Wars. Uh, what's the one where you're a squad? Uh, and it's a first person shooter. Fuck, you don't remember this? Was it Star Wars Republic Commando? Yeah, Star Wars Republic Commando. I played the shit out of that game, uh, and I was very into Star Wars. So yeah, I miss that machine so much. I wish I could have it again because I would just love to play all of those games on the original Xbox. And I don't know. I've but since like I was very young, I've been into video games and just sort of playing them all. I was very good at FPSs for a long time. I feel like I've gotten a little rusty, uh, especially since I switched from controller to mouse after uh 20 20 years of playing on console versus pc i only got a pc when i turned when i was like 20 like yeah you also didn't um, have to change to mouse and keyboard but arguably it's better yeah. and i play on controller so all righty thank you guys all for joining us for this episode of older and dumber once again special guested by may once again, I'd like to thank Checkpoint Gaming Lounge for sponsoring Older and Dumber. They provide us with a studio, which unfortunately we did not get to use this week. 
and they're your go-to hub for playing anything like new consoles, new uh, PC games, anything like that, parties. Uh, they're your one-stop shop for that. So thank you once again, Checkpoint Gaming Lounge, for the sponsor of this podcast. Um, every week on Tuesday on Melia's uh, channel, uh, we play Starfinder at around 9 on Tuesdays. Uh, Fridays, we have the podcast, as per usual. And then usually once per month-ish, we have... Gaslight Theater, which uh, patrons get to watch with us. Uh, yeah. And uh, where can you find all that stuff, May? You can find all of that stuff at Older, the Letter, and Dumber everywhere on the internet. If you go to any of our socials, you will find a link to our link tree. In that link tree, you can find all of us individually because I can't remember anyone's username. You got Hunter, Voice of Hunter, right? Yep. You got Joey. At Sluty Mage in Leet Speak. Yep. You've got Carter, yep. Deagle Eagle. Mm-mm. No. I don't have a I don't have like a content creator. He doesn't have anymore. anything. Have it's at just Jay Carter. Carter Rutt is my Instagram. At J Carter Rutt, his Instagram, where you can yep. find open shirt gym pictures. Uh and you've got me, Malia, on Twitch and sometimes Instagram, but never Instagram. Thank you guys all for joining us and uh have a good night. Hey.